don't you call my mother and tell her I can't come. Because <laughs> I'll get here if I have to sail in, you know, get a sailboat to get in here more or less. And... I've been working on taking tires off a combine. Yeah. We could float in if we have to, but I'm coming. In this episode of Fireside Chat, Aaron McKee and Mike Brown share how their friendship began in college. From an unlikely start to building a lasting partnership, hear their journey of brotherhood, challenges, and humor along the way. Mike, you've known Aaron probably longer than the rest of us, haven't you? I have. Yeah, no, Aaron and I, we uh, we met in college. Funny thing about Aaron and I is I didn't like Aaron the first time I met Aaron. <laughs> My story is a little different than his, uh, but uh, it, it sums it up. No, uh, I, uh, we were, uh, were fraternity brothers. I had uh, one of our mutual friends um, had uh, uh, recruited me into the AGR house. I, had, I started at Kansas State in the uh, summer of uh, 93. And so he was off working with, with Uncle Alan on that by rotor project. And we had a, uh, a summer uh, gathering uh, for the AGR people. And, and since I was there, I was helping uh, Brent um, kind of put it together. And uh, some of you may or may not remember, but the summer of 93, uh, Manhattan was, uh, there was a lot of rain, let's put it that way. And there was some uh, uh, talk and risk of uh, the dam breaking. Tuttle Creek Dam uh, breaking and putting Manhattan underwater, uh, as well as there was uh, Highway 77. Um, I think there was maybe one lane open uh, that you could get even to Manhattan from interstate uh, because of the water being across. Yeah, and I don't think you could even come in from Fort Riley on 16, if I, don't, if I recall. I think that was underwater. And I'm not sure about coming in from uh, Wamego at that time, there, if you could or couldn't. but. You had to pick your path to get in there, but Brett asked me to make some phone calls to some of the brothers and just say, hey, if you can't make it, no problem. Uh, we're, we're not gonna have all the events. And Aaron was on my list and the number I had was his mother. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I told her and she then got a hold of Aaron. And when Aaron got to Manhattan then, um, he proceeded to give me a, just a wrath that <laughs> about don't you call my mother and tell her I can't come. Because <laughs> I'll get here if I have to sail in, you know, get a sailboat to get in here more or less. And... I've been working on taking tires off a combine. Yeah. We could float in if we have to, but I'm coming. Right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he was nice. He, it rubbed me a little wrong because I didn't know him at the time. It was my... I was being serious. I know, you were, I know. I know. But then uh, we got back, uh, when we all come back in the fall, him and I ended up on a uh, float building committee. And so we built a float for, for homecoming and, and uh, got to know each other. And Mike had more tools than anybody had ever met. I'm like, I don't know this guy. <laughs> it's it's be all right. Yeah. yeah. A little, yeah. little bitty car and a whole lot of tools. We call it the clown car. Like, how'd you pull the welder out of the back of that Pontiac? <laughs> I don't know how you did that, but there's a generator in there too. You're a good friend. Yeah. Yeah. I did have a lot of tools and I liked working on things. So, but uh, now that's, uh, that's how it all started. And then we were roommates in the, in the uh, fraternity house and roommates after we moved out. Thank you.